Artargatus, Etaretus, or Atarathair was the chief goddess of northern Syria in classical antiquity. Ctec has also used the name Desato for her, and the Romans called her De Syria. Primarily she was a goddess of fertility, but, as the bylet of her city and people, she was also responsible for their protection and well-being. Her chief sanctuary was at Hierapolis, modern Manbij, northeast of Aleppo, Syria. She is sometimes described as a mermaid goddess, due to identification of her with a fish-bodied goddess at Ascalon. However, there is no evidence that Artargatus was worshipped at Ascalon, and all iconographic evidence shows her as anthropomorphic. Michael Rustoftseff called her the great mistress of the North Syrian lands. Her consort is usually Hadad. As Atarathair, doves and fish were considered sacred to her. Doves as an emblem of the love goddess, and fish as symbolic of the fertility and life of the waters. According to a 3rd century Syriac source, in Syria and in Erhai, Edessa, the men used to castrate themselves in honor of Taratha. But when King Abgar became a Christian, he commanded that anyone who emasculated himself should have a hand cut off. And from that day to the present no one in Erhai emasculates himself anymore. Name and origin the name Artargatus derives from the Aramaic form, Atiradhair, which comes in several variants. At Hierapolis Bambisa on coins of about the 4th century BCE, the legend TRTH appears, for Atirati, and TRTHMNBGYB in an Abitian inscription, at KAFR Yasif near Echo an altar is inscribed, to Adado and Artargatus. The gods who listen to prayer, and the full name, TRTH appears on a bilingual inscription found in Palmyra. Atarathair is seen as a continuation of Bronze Age goddesses. Atagarit, cuneiform tablets attest the three great Canaanite goddesses, Itirat, described as a fecund lady goddess of the sea, Anit, and Atart, who shared many traits with each other and may have been worshipped in conjunction or separately during 1500 years of cultural history. The name Atarathair is widely held to derive from a compound of the Aramaic form Atta, which is a cognate of Atart minus its feminine suffix T, and Atta or Atta, a cognate of Anit. Alternatively, the second half may be a Palmyrene divine name, A-T-H-E, which occurs as part of many compounds. It has also been proposed that the element Gattus may relate to the Greek Gardos, fish. So A-T-A-R Gattus may simply mean the fish goddess A-T-A-R, cult centers and images. As a consequence of the first half of the name of Artargatus has frequently, though wrongly, been identified as Ashtart. The two deities were probably of common origin and have many features in common, but their cults are historically distinct. There is reference in 2 Maccabees 12.26 and 1 Maccabees 5.43 to an Artargatian or Atagatian, a temple of Artargatus, a canyon in Gilead. But the home of the goddess was unquestionably not Israel or Canaan, but Syria itself, at Hierapolis Bambi so she had a temple in her name. At Palmyra she appears on the coinage with a lion, or her presence is signalled with a lion and the crescent moon, an inscription mentions her. In the temples of Artargatus at Palmyra and at Dura Europos she appeared repeatedly with her consort, Hadad and in the richly syncretic religious culture at Dura Europos, was worshipped as Artemis Azanath Kona. Two well-preserved temples in Nihar, Lebanon are dedicated to her and to Hadad. In the 1930s, numerous Nabataean bar-relief busts of Artargatus were identified by Nelson Gluck at Kerbet Tanner, Jordan. In temple ruins of the early 1st century CE, there the lightly veiled goddess's lips and eyes had once been painted red, and a pair of fish confronted one another above her head. 
Her wavy hair, suggesting water to Gluck, was parted in the middle. At Petra the goddess from the north was syncretized with the North Arabian goddess from the south Alusa, worshipped in the one temple. At Jura Europas among the attributes of Artagatus are the spindle and the scepter or fish spear. At her temples at Ascalon, Hierapolis, Bambisa, and Edessa, there were fish ponds containing fish only her priests might touch. Gluck noted in 1936 that, to this day there is a sacred fish pond swarming with untouchable fish at Cubit el Beredwai, a dervish monastery three kilometers east of Tripolis, Lebanon. From Syria her worship extended to Greece and to the furthest west. Lucian and Apollius give descriptions of the beggar priests who went round the great cities with an image of the goddess on an ass and collected money. The wide extension of the cult is attributable largely to Syrian merchants, thus we find traces of it in the great seaport towns, at Delos especially. Numerous inscriptions have been found bearing witness to her importance. Again we find the cult in Sicily, introduced no doubt by slaves and mercenary troops who carried it even to the farthest northern limits of the Roman Empire. The leader of the rebel slaves in the First Servile War, a Syrian named Eunice, claimed to receive visions of Artagatis, whom he identified with the Demeter of Enna. Syncretism. In many cases Artagatis, Ashtart, and other goddesses who once had independent cults and mythologies became fused to such an extent as to be indistinguishable. This fusion is exemplified by the Carnian Temple, which is probably identical with the famous Temple of Ashtar at Ashtarath Karnaim. Artagatis generally appears as the wife of Hadad. They are the protecting deities of the community. Artagatus, wearing a mural crown, is the ancestor of the royal house, the founder of social and religious life, the goddess of generation and fertility, and the inventor of useful appliances. Not unnaturally she is identified with the Greek Aphrodite. By the conjunction of these many functions, despite originating as a sea deity analogous to Amphitrite, she becomes ultimately a great nature goddess, analogous to Sibyl and Rhea. In one aspect she typifies the protection of water in producing life, in another, the universal of other earth, in a third, the power of destiny. Art Argatus mythology. The legends are numerous and of an astrological character. A rationale for the Syrian dove worship and abstinence from fish is seen in the story in Athenaeus 8.37, where Artagatus is naively explained to mean, without Gattis, the name of a queen who is said to have forbidden the eating of fish. Thus Diodorus Siculus, quoting C.T. Siaz tells how DeSato fell in love with a youth and became by him the mother of a child and how in shame DeSato flung herself into a lake near Ascalon, and her body was changed into the form of a fish though her head remained human. DeSato's child grew up to become Semiramis, the Assyrian queen. In another story, told by Hyginus, an egg fell from the sky into the Euphrates, was rolled onto land by fish, doves settled on it and hatched it and Venus, known as the Syrian goddess, came forth. The author of Catasterisma explained the constellation of Pisces Ostrinus as the parent of the two fish making up the constellation of Pisces. According to that account, it was placed in the heavens in memory of DeSato's fall into the lake at Hierapolis Bambisa near the Euphrates in Syria, from which she was saved by a large fish, which again is intended to explain the Syrian abstinence from fish. Ovid in his Metamorphoses relates that Venus took the form of a fish to hide from Typhon. In his faster Ovid instead relates how Dione, by whom Ovid intends Venus, Aphrodite, fleeing from Typhon with her child Cupid, Eros came to the river Euphrates in Syria. Hearing the wind suddenly rise and fearing that it was Typhon, the goddess begged aid from the river nymphs and leapt into the river with her son. Two fish bore them up and were rewarded by being transformed into the constellation Pisces, and for that reason the Syrians will eat no fish. A recent analysis of the cult of Artagatus is the essay by Pabilda. In Religion and Religious Practice in the Seleucid Kingdom Aris University Press.
in which Artagatus appears in the context of other Hellenized great goddesses of the East.